Hey everybody, how we doing today? This is day two of the Spirit Challenge. Um, I did wake up early this morning, although it was not an hour. I was so excited about getting through day one of Spirit Challenge that I stayed up late and therefore only got up 30 minutes early today. But it was still early. I'm not not busting my, myself up over it, so it was still a good day. Um, we got major exercise in. Um, and I did do my reflection time, not once, not twice, but like three times today, I have uh, reflected on this, uh, this book that I'm gonna share with you guys. Uh, I wanna talk a little bit about the author first. Her name is Lisa Santiago McNeil. She is an author, she is an illustrator, she's a publisher and a producer, she's an empowerment speaker, um, she does all kinds of workshops and seminars. She does online. She does it all. Um, she's a mother. She's an auntie. She's a grandma. She just became a great grandmother. Congratulations. Um, she is an amazing friend and also an incredible spiritual ally of mine. Um, she's written so many books, several of which I've had and actually sent to family um, states away. I've shared books with my children, with friends, and uh, the one that I wanna share with you guys today is probably my favorite of all of them. It's a children's book for children and adults, um, which I think is really great because we all kind of still have a little child inside all of us. We never really fully grow up. There's always that little part of us that needs loving and nurturing and caring for, and that little part of us that always wants to cry or joy, you know, scream like a joyful little kid. Um, so there's a little kid in us always and forever will be. Um, so I really like the whole concept of the children's books for children and adults. But um, this book is something, I remember hearing her read it for the first time on Facebook. It was over a year ago and uh, she was doing her morning motivation and makeup and had shared it with the audience online and it just had wrecked me in a good way. It brought me to tears, it really shifted my perspective on things. Um, Lisa and everything that she does is all about building people, empowering people, helping them find their purpose, walk in it, do the hard work. This woman is a survivor of so many crazy, crazy, crazy trials in life and the fact that she stands so strong the way she is now and still has all the time to pour in and help us all find our own inner strength is, is just amazing so um, that's kind of what this book did for me the first time I heard it and uh, so I ordered it originally for myself but since have been able to share with my kids and many other people like I said and uh, I had planned on showcasing her for today and didn't really um, consider the fact that I was babysitting also today. So um, I was actually able to share this book with extra children today. Nope, go. Um, so it's getting around. <laughs> Will you read the first page? Yeah. Let's see, let's have Sophie read the first page. What, is, what does that say? Out this loud. book is designed. Dedicated to all of the tiny little acorns. Are you a tiny acorn? Yeah. Acorn. Can you say it? Acorn. Acorn. Where's the acorn? Where's the acorn? See that? Acorn. It's an acorn. Acorn, very good. Where's the acorn? Can you find it? Where's the acorn? Touch it. Where's the acorn? There it is. Can we find it? What's this? Where's the acorn? There's the acorn. What is this? Tree. Anyways, the name of the book is The Tiniest Little Acorn. It's amazing. Um, all right. The Tiniest.
tiniest little acorn. There once, I have to put my sunglasses on for this, sorry, it's so bright. All right, there once was a tiny little acorn. The tiny little acorn was very sad. No one notices me. I'm cold and I'm wet and I'm alone. There's the acorn. She was in the deep, dark earth and it was very cold and very wet. Sometimes the pressure was so much she thought it would destroy her. We've all been there, right? One day, a voice from above said, why are you so sad, tiny little acorn? She responded, all of the pine cones sit in the sun. They're beautiful and people love them. Tiny little acorn, you observe well, yet you understand not. You, my tiny little acorn, are in exactly the necessary conditions for you to grow into a mighty oak tree. The big voice explained to the tiny little acorn. But the pine cone will forever be known as the tree that will never be. Then the tiny little acorn realized that she could be alone and not have to feel lonely. The tiny little acorn was not so sad anymore. The tiny acorn grew deep roots and became a seedling. The sun and the rain came. The tiny acorn grew and grew. She became a beautiful, mighty oak tree. Then she heard a sad voice sobbing in the forest. She leaned down and she encouraged another tiny acorn. She now proudly stands in the forest and is known as the tree that was destined to be. And at the end, Lisa says, you are destined for greatness. There is no mistake. You are here for a purpose and a plan. Receive the rain with the sunshine, knowing that it takes both to become he, who you are destined to be. And if that's not something this woman gives out every single time she goes online, she writes, she takes time to coach, she's an amazing coach, she coaches, uh, she just, I can't say enough about this woman. Um, if you want to check out any of her books, you can find them at IamLisaSantiago.com. Um, you can find her on Facebook if you look up Lisa Santiago McNeil and also she does an incredible incredible morning show um, with her husband every day at nine o'clock on Facebook it's called the empowerment duo if you look them up it is a hoot man there's so many shenanigans inspirations it's an open forum it's a chance for you to share your stories to be inspired um, to connect with other resources and I'll tell you what it is better than my morning cup of coffee I can live without that every day but what I gain from being part of their show every day is just priceless I can't really put it into words other than it's priceless it's irreplaceable and it's filling to the heart the spirit the body the mind the soul um, and I just I'm very very grateful for it so I highly encourage you to check them out, be part of it. They're amazing, amazing folks, and there's something in that program for everybody. I'm a huge advocate of it. Um, so Lisa was able to not only help me through many days of my life with this book, um, but extra today because she even came through with the babysitting clutch. I got to share this with the kiddos as well. So Lisa, thank you very much for your help on day two of Spirit Challenge and for so many days in my life that you've been there lifting me up, empowering me, um, and being just a testimony. Keep doing what you do, and I hope when I grow up I can be just like you, girl. I love you. And until next time, we'll catch you on day three of Spirit Challenge. You want to say bye? Bye. Bye. You going to take the Spirit Challenge? Yeah, I'm going to do it. You're going to do it? All right. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow.